I'm going to give you a really quick tutorial on how to build a stir plate from a cigar box. Very, very simple. Go find yourself a cigar box. Cut a hole in the top of that cigar box with one of these bits. Right dead in the center. Go find you an old computer fan. Everybody has a computer laying around their house with a fan inside. I buy these off the internet. They're like two bucks a piece. They're really cool because they have lights on them. You can also buy a light kind of like this from Radio Shack that it's more to tell you that it's if it's off or on. Real simple. <clears throat> you're gonna go buy a toggle switch. You're gonna go to Radio Shack and you're gonna buy a rheostat. A rheostat looks just like this. It's a knob, just like a radio knob from the old stereos that we had. You're gonna use an AC adapter. I prefer the universals because I can adjust the voltage on them. You can also use a cell phone. Uh, charger plug and you want to take that and splice it You're gonna splice it to a power And a ground and you're gonna run it through the back of your cigar box Your power is gonna run in To your toggle switch on one side there should be two prongs in your toggle switch run the power directly from your AC AC plug to the toggle switch run another wire to the center prong of your rheostat your rheostat will have three different prongs on it. Run it to the center. And then you're going to run from, you can use either one of these prongs. You're going to run a power from your actual fan to one of the other side uh, posts on that rheostat. Real simple. And don't forget about your ground. You're going to have a ground wire that came off that AC plug. Run that ground directly to the ground from your fan. Now I take my PC fan and I mount it. As you can see, I mount it to the back of the lid for the scar box. And I use these little rubber grommets. You can probably see. I use these little rubber grommets and I just glue the fan directly to those rubber grommets. It gives a little bit of a absorbency for the vibration. Works just fine. Once again, power to your toggle switch, it turns it on and off. Run another line from that toggle to your middle prong or post of that rheostat. There's three of them. This rheostat adjusts the speed. It'll adjust the voltage that goes to that fan so you can adjust the speed of your stir plate. And then run the power from your fan to one of the other side prongs. Run the ground from your plug directly to your fan. Mount the fan under the under the lid where you actually where you cut the hole. Shut your box. You're gonna want to use a old hard drive. Everybody's got a hard drive laying around the house. You can take these apart. There's a couple tutorials on how to get them apart out there on the internet. Real simple. But what you're looking for is the rare earth magnet. And you're gonna glue that rare earth magnet to the dead center of that fan. You want it to be dead center because you want the balance when this fan starts spinning. And what that rear earth magnet does is it grabs that stir bar and it just spins it inside of your Erlenmeyer flask. These are easy to get out of the hard drive. You just have to make sure that you're uh, not being too aggressive with it or, or, or they can break. I have broke a couple of them. Grab your Erlenmeyer flask. If you watch how this grabs, I've got the stir bar in there and it grabs. Real, real simple. Now you've actually got your your stir plate built. You're gonna plug it in. And give it a test. There you go. You can see the lights I've got in here. You can adjust your speed. And you get a nice solid vortex that'll it'll eventually get a lot larger. And if you want to get real fancy, there you go. Stir plate. Done.